Okay, to get the maximum graphics out of your NASCAR Racing 2003 season, we're going to need to do some calculations. First of all, you're going to calculate the megabytes of your video card times 1,048,576. And that will give you answer A. Now, in order to find your the megabyte amount of your video card, right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution, or if you're on Windows XP, click on properties, and then click on display. Click advanced settings there, and you will find your dedicated video memory. Mine is 1024. It's a whole gigabyte. There is 1024 megabytes in one gigabyte, just in case you didn't know that. So write that number down. Okay, and you will come with the number, which I will calculate in a minute. Next, you are going to multiply your screen width, which is the first number of your resolution, your screen width by 4 by your screen height. Which is, for me, 900. Then you multiply that times a 2 if you're using a 16-bit render settings or 32 or a 4 if you're using 32 I'm using 32 so I'll do a 4 but I'll show you what I'm talking about in configure 3d graphics you'll see your graphics mode 1600 by 900 by 32 is what I'm running so that's the number I need to calculate and that will give you answer B now you need to take answer A minus answer B, and you will get answer C. Now I will calculate these in just a moment. Okay, after I do all these calculations, mine turns out to be this big number, which I will now copy. Okay, but before we use this number, you need to go into local disk C, Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, and go down to a file.core.ini. Now you're going to need to make a copy of this file just for backup in case you screw it up. That's what I do, just in case. Now this number will be 4194304. Just add a 1 to that, which I have already done. File and save. Okay, now go down to rend underscore dot, or rend underscore dxg dot ini. If you're using OpenGL, then it will be underscore OGL. But for right now, I'm using DirectX. Now, you're going to paste this new number in there under texture set size. Now, under anisotropic level, change that number to 999. And then save that. Now your game will run at maximum graphics quality.